Hello and welcome to So Crafty with Connie. Today I wanted to show you how to make this adorable quick and easy baby bib with or without lace. Um, also the name is optional. Uh, supplies needed are fabric, baby bib pattern, uh, lace, that's optional, and batting for something to go in between. Now um, I honestly cannot remember where I got this baby bib pattern. Um, I got it a long time ago, but if you Google baby bib patterns free, you'll be able to find uh, any that you would like um, to do. Um, you'll also need some Velcro to uh, close for the closure on the back. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I got my fabric pieces here, and I've already cut out my baby bib from my pattern. Now I cut out each piece on the fold. This is the pattern that I got from a long time ago. But again, Google baby bib patterns. You'll be able to find whatever you want to use. Now I've already got the name on one, so I did that on my embroidery machine. Um, that's something that uh, you can do on your own. You can also use um, your Cameo or your Cricut and put the name on there with vinyl. But So I've cut out two pieces of cotton fabric and I also cut out a piece of fleece to go in the middle to make it soft. You can use batting, you can use whatever you want. You can use flannel to go in between. Then I've placed one bib on top of the, I laid the the fleece down first and then I laid one piece of bib, fabric bib on top and then I took my other bib piece with the name on it and I put it face down and I'm matching up the edges and now I'm going to pin all that in place because I'm going to sew around the edges here in a little bit and I want to pin, pin it in place just to keep it from moving whenever I go back and forth to my sewing machine. And it's just a very simple stitch. You're gonna just going to sew around the edge using about a fourth of an inch seam allowance. Quick and easy. Now make sure it's all straight. And then I've got my pieces of Velcro. You're going to use the uh, both sides. And it's a sew-in kind. And I've cut them about an inch, inch a piece. And um, you're going to put those at the top where the neck is. Okay, now I'm ready to add my lace. I took the pins out of the bottom so I'd be able to open it a little easier. But you're just going to cut a piece of lace. This one's about 12 to 16 inches. You can make it however long you want. You don't even have to use the lace. If you don't want to use the lace, then totally skip this part. But I found the center of my lace, and you're going to put the pretty part in between the two pieces of fabric and of the bib, not the fleece. Make sure you put it in, in between the two pieces of the fabric, and then I'm just going to pin it into place right here. Now that is the center of my lace. And then I'm just going to kind of work along the edge, putting the very edge of the lace at the very edge of the bib part and again your your pretty your pretty part needs to be inside the two pieces of fabric and I'm just kind of working my way up and I'm going a little bit and then I'm pinning it in place and then when you get to the very end make sure that the edge very edge of the lace or the, the end of it is kind of is sticking out in between the two pieces of fabric, if that makes sense. So the edge is going to line up along, the edge of the lace is lined up along the edge of the bib, pretty part inside. And when I get to the very end, the little end that's sticking out about a half of an inch, the raw edge, you're just going to let that part stick out of the fabric of the two pieces of fabric just a little bit. So that way when you sew it up and you turn it right side out, it'll be inside of the fab two fabric pieces. And so now I am doing the same thing on the other side. And you want to pin the middle first so that way you will have the same sides 
the same amount of lace on each side. And that's a really good way to determine that is by finding the center first. And so you can also add ruffles like this, doesn't have to be lace. Um, again, you would do the same thing with ruffles, just make sure the pretty part is in between the two pieces of fabric, and then you're going to pin it all the way around. I got mine all pinned around the edges, and now I'm going to get ready to go sew it. Okay, now I'm ready to sew around the edges. I'm going to use about a fourth of an inch seam allowance, and I'm going to sew all the way around. You can do a little bit a bigger seam allowance if you don't think that you'll be able to catch all pieces. So if you want to do that, you can do like a half of an inch seam allowance just to make sure that you catch all the pieces. All right, now I'm sewing all the way around, and I'm making sure I do not... Um, sew over my pin, so I'm taking them out as I go, and I'm sewing the lace as well, so I'm sewing all four layers, if you will, the two fabric pieces, the fleece piece, as well as the lace. Now, if I didn't have the lace, then I would have left an opening at the bottom of the bib for turning, but since I have the lace, I'm going to leave a uh, place to for the opening on one of the edges where the neck is. So now I'm sewing around the neck hole again using a half of an inch or a fourth of an inch seam allowance. I'm going all the way around careful with the curves and now I'm going to stop right there and back stitch and that's going to be where I turn the bib right side out. Now I'm going to trim along the edge as close to the seam that I just sewed as possible without clipping the threads. Now if you want, and I'm also clipping the curves, so if you want to leave a little bit there so you can clip the curves, that's fine. You don't have to trim that all the way to the edge. But where you see a lot of the piece sticking out, obviously my uh, fleece was a lot bigger than my bib fabric pieces that I cut out. So I am trimming trimming the fle fleece around. And that's one reason why you might, might want to use a bigger seam allowance, just to make sure that you get all of that in. All right, so now I'm trimming all the way around, clipping my curves where needed. If you trim it close enough, you don't necessarily have to trim your curves. But if you're worried about, you don't have to clip your curves, but if you're worried about cutting your stitches, then I would just clip them instead. So now I'm doing a little cleanup work here. All right, now I'm making sure I've got all the sides in and sewed in and now I'm going to flip it right side out. Now this part can be a little time consuming especially depending on how big your baby bib is. This one's pretty pretty snug, pretty small, but I'm getting I'm getting it done and there are tools that you can use as well. I, I've just done this so many times that I kind of figure out how to use my fingers and all to do that. So, but I am getting one of those little skewer sticks and I'm going to take it and just make sure all the edges are poked out and it looks all nice and rounded. That's a good tool to use when you are turning stuff right side out and it also kind of helps poke out the other piece of the neck. All right, now I'm just kind of straightening it out, and I'm going to push along the edge again just to kind of make sure that's all nice and, and poked out, as well as the light lace sticking out. All right. Now, now I've got that all done. 
Now I'm going to get ready to close up the edge. So I'm going to take this piece of fleece that's sticking out and just going to cut it off so it's not so bulky whenever I sew it closed. Now I'm going to take the two pieces of the fabric edges and I'm just going to fold those down and make them even along the edge side of the bib. And I'm going to pin that in place. And then you want to top stitch all the way around the bib and you're going to close up that opening as you're top stitching. So make sure you do not go over your pins. So I'm just top stitching all the way around. Top stitching about a fourth of an inch seam allowance for this. That way you make sure that you have the closure closed all the way up by doing that. And so now I'm going to top, so, top stitch around the neck. And then I'm going up around the sides. And again, making sure the pins are out of the way. And then I'm going to sew along the bottom, top stitching. And that's pushing down the lace a little more. Making it a little more secure. Okay, and now I'm going to clip my threads, clip my loose threads from where I just top stitched. Alright, and now we are ready to add the Velcro pieces. All right, I got my Velcro pieces ready, and I am placing the rough edge on top of the one pe one side where the neck is, and I'm sewing that on, and it's on the front, if you will. And now I'm taking the soft edge, and I'm putting it on the back of the other neck loop. And I am sewing it on as well. You can double stitch if you want, um, just to make sure it's nice and snug. Um, I'm just sewing all the way around, making a square all the way around the Velcro piece. You want to do that for both, both pieces. Make sure that you put one on top and one underneath. Um, so it will Velcro close. Otherwise, otherwise they'll be on both sides and, and you won't be able to close it that way. Now I'm cutting the loose threads. I've finished that and it is all done. There is the baby bib and that's how you close it with your Velcro closure and it's got the lace, the lace added on there and it's just simple and easy and great for either your own baby or a baby shower gift. All right, there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you make one for yourself or for a gift, I'd love to see it. Um, you can post a picture of it in the comments of this video. If you have any questions, also feel free to let me know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see y'all next time. Thanks again. Have a good one. Bye-bye.